and through our community development agency we're taking on this sort of long history of institutional bias that's been expressed historically in the most dramatic ways around the lack of civil rights and inclusion in our housing policies and we're going to be tackling that around affirmatively furthering fair housing opportunities. I'm just you know, so often we hear the word we want safe communities or we want to protect our community character. Uh, these, these are the ways in which messaging goes out, whether intentional or otherwise, uh, that discourages breaking down the biases that have been built into the history. I mean, it, it's stunning to many of us, but it's sad and true that until the middle of the 1960s, we had deed restrictions on properties. We have redlining under financing uh, through, through credit unions and banks that prevented people of color from living in many of the neighborhoods in Marin County. And I personally would just suggest to all of us here, and especially those of us who are white, and even more so those of us who are male, that we should stop for a moment and think about all the ways, and if you stop for just a little bit of time and think about all the ways that we have had advantages that haven't been available to people of color, that's the first step on the road to the, to the goal that we have.